Hey, so um, I did a video earlier um, on Facebook Live, so now I'm going to go on my YouTube and I'll post up a video. So as you know, I did the whole Ancestry.com um, DNA kit, and I'm so excited. I got the results back. Um, I had a breakdown of exactly what part of Africa, what part of Europe, and um, wherever my... Uh, DNA linkage um, actually went back to. So hold on, let me tell you right now what it is. Let me tell you right now. So it says, oops. Okay. Okay. So I had a breakdown of it and um, it says that I am 60, no, I'm sorry. I am 80% African. Woo! And the breakdown goes as follows. I am 17% from Ghana, 16% from Nigeria, 15% from, 15 from Benin, Togo, 11% from Congo, um, Cameroon, and 10% from Mali. They had some um, small traces of the regions, which is um, anything that's, I uh, believe, below 10%. Uh, 6% from Senegal, 3% from Africa North, 1% from Africa, Africa Southeastern Bantu, and Africa South Central Hunter Gatherers, all 1%. I have 22% of, uh, sorry, 19% um, Great Britain, and that is focusing in the region of England, Scotland, and Wales. I knew about the Irish part. Um, but I guess it's focusing more on England, Scotland, and Wales. So, that is from there. And then I have a 1% um, trace back to Asia, to uh, East Asia. And that would be in the area of uh, Taiwan, Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, somewhere within um, that region. Anyway, it's really exciting. Um, now I know what <laughs> what uh, countries in Africa I want to visit when I get a chance because I definitely like to know more about um, the cultures, the language, the religions, and all the other different um, customs that they have um, within Africa. And um, I was in Europe, in London last year, and it was pretty cool. So... It was good to interact with the um, the Britons. Um, yeah, and I'm always in Asia, so Asia is like my second home. Um, I've been to Taiwan. I stopped in China. I've been to Thailand, Phuket, Indonesia, and um, next month I'm trying to make my way to Cambodia and Vietnam. So either one of the two or both, we'll see, because they're right next to each other. They're right next to each other, so... Um, the road, these are pretty cool results. Um, I guess I, I knew about the, um, the, the European part. So my grandmother and, um, my immediate, my paternal grandmother and, um, my great grandmother and great grandmother, grandmother, great grandmother and great, great grandmother. Okay. Um, mm, cause my last name is uh, Boone, which is actually English. So yeah, that all. That all pretty much makes sense. Um, yeah, so that's exciting. And um, that's it. I mean, if you really... There's a total, complete breakdown of um, each country um, and the regions. Uh, I'm not going to really get into it because there's a lot to read and to a lot to take in. But if you can get a chance, go to your Ancestry.com, see you, where you come from. Especially, you know, you don't really want to walk around and think you're one thing and you're really not. So, like I said in my other video, there are a lot of people who are claiming um, Taino Indian and they have like less than 5%, less than, excuse me, less than 10% because those, uh, those Indians in the Caribbean, the Carib Indians, the Tainos, those, those Indians have been eradicated. And um, majority of those people that are, that are from the Caribbean, which I'm not. Um, they are African and they have, um, Spaniard, European blood. 
Um, the faces of Taino Indians, very, it's almost non-existent. So it's best to go out there, um, test your DNA so you can be well educated and um, not walking around with the false perception that um, you are a part of a certain culture and you're really not. So go out there, do it, get tested, and share your results. Come on, go on YouTube, share your results, and um, let us all know how you feel about when you first uh, read, your, read your results online. All right, well, peace out, people. This is my first or my second video that I've put, I think, on YouTube, so this should be interesting. All right, bye. <laughs>